Love and light, my soul tribe, all you beautiful cosmic surfers. I am Cain, and if I am able, I am here to assist in any way. As above, so below. As within, so without. I used to train my body very top heavy. I now know this was very ego and image based. And the reason I did this was because I felt weak, lacking and insecure within myself. So I felt by appearing big and powerful, it would make me feel a little bit better about myself. And it would also keep people away, stop them getting close enough to see my weakness. I'm big, powerful, keep back, right? When I started my spiritual practice, I continued along this path, right? This top heavy, quick, quickest way, without building strong foundations and working up straight to the top, straight to what everybody wants, right? To open your third eye, your crown chakra. I worked and focused heavily on my heart, my third eye and my crown. I opened them and within the first few months I was astral travelling, I was floating above my body, looking down at myself. I travelled to all weird and wonderful places. I met my higher self as well as other family members and I experienced and healed past life traumas. This all kind of come naturally to me. I didn't look how to do it, I just kind of did it, right? But I now know how dangerous this was because upon opening myself up, without the knowledge of how to protect or ground myself, I opened my astral and auric field and body up and it was open and defenseless. Anything could come in, leech on me, attack on me, drain my energies, right? Without the knowledge, without those foundations to build upon, we can actually do ourselves more harm, training just the upper body as well as training just the upper parts of our spiritual body. I now know how crucial this is in all aspects of life. A tree may seem like it is more top heavy with its big, broad, wide leaves compared to its thin, narrow trunk. But in truth, its root system is far more broad, wide and deep than any other part of it. It is its root system that keeps it grounded, keeps it solid and in place, as well as absorbing the nutrients it needs in order to live and survive. And a mountain may seem like an immovable object sat there timeless. And I'm sure if you look at it, you'll agree it stands so tall and proud because of the width of its base up to a narrow, thin point at the top. I'm sure I know for a fact, I don't know the actual mathematical equation, but I'm sure there is a mathematical equation for the mass compared to the height, the width and the pitch of a mountain, as with the pyramids, it's all mathematically balanced, right? And we must balance ourselves in body and mind. I have gone back to basics. I did it before, worked my way up, and I'm doing it again. I'm going right back to my foundations, relaying my foundations so that they can hold anything and everything. The journey I have ahead is not an easy one and the foundations I currently have may not stand the weight which I will carry. So before I try to carry it, before I try to become strong enough to pick up that weight without the foundations to support me, I'm going back to basics as we all must. I suggest you have a spring clean, you cleanse out all your chakras, 
you almost drain away everything which you've learned. Start from the bottom up, grow deep and strong roots, deep and strong foundations to grow and build upon. Build your way up, never taking any shortcuts or any corners, because any shortcuts taken, anything missed out, wanting to get to those more enjoyable experiences with the astral projecting and floating around. Anytime you cut a corner, it leaves a weak spot, a weak spot for entities to come in, steal and drain your energy, or a weak spot that will eventually break and bring the whole thing tumbling down. An Achilles heel as such. I'm doing this myself and I feel the next step we're all taking in our spiritual journey requires us all to go back and reassess our foundations, make sure that we have the base information ready for the next step in our journeys. This is my view as always, nothing more. For now, namaste one and all. Until next time.